Hello everybody, it's your boy Soda, and we are back with another video, a uh, double upload today. <laughs> but um, today I will show you guys how to make VBA videos. I've literally recorded one like right before this one, and the footage got somehow got corrupted. Now to remake one now. But um, yeah. So um, what you want to do is uh, go to the link in the description. I have a uh, link. To this website uh what you want to do is uh click on windows download it uh, and this obs should pop up when you start off so in order to get to this uh place right now where i am you needed to create a scene right you go on scene right you uh you add a scene or you already have one but in, in our case uh we use uh we create a new scene so this new scene right it's you can literally see nothing right now right but when i add Go to the sources, right? And you, I place, I, uh, I add this play capture, and I add this. Okay, you see this? Whoa, whoa! What happened there? Yeah, um, I basically added a source, and it's called a display capture. Um, it basically allows you, uh, to display, uh, to capture everything, uh, on your your uh, screen. Okay, so I didn't quite explain this correctly. Um. So in order to like add on a display capture, I have to like go to sources right here. You see sources right here? You press add and then press display capture. So uh if you want to what if you want to capture like only Roblox and you don't want this like toolbar right there and you just want to capture Roblox and Roblox only? Um what you want to do is let's say let's bring up volleyball for example. Um, you join in the game and you have to go on full screen. All right. That's the number one rule when you, um, want to record only Roblox, you have to put your screen to full, right? So, and then you're like, oh yeah, soda. Well, uh, it is full screen, but like, how do I go on OBS, um, while in full screen? It's actually quite simple. You could, uh, move your uh tabs like you can switch tabs while in full screen by holding alt and pressing tab it allows you to switch um you know things rather quickly without moving your mouse much um so now we're at the scene two and the sources what we want to do is uh add a, a new one and press game capture right and then you uh press okay right and then it says mode you have to select capture specific window and then go on the window page like this scroll down thing you press roblox player beta.exe roblox right you press ok uh you see two screens so what you want to do is um press uh, press this display capture you see this little uh icon eye icon you press on it now it's dark right now i drag my obs uh this thing, I want to drag it to full. See that? It's recording only and only Roblox right now. That's really it. Uh, there's there's also like it will the video will go on your one of your folders that you select in settings. I suggest you watch a YouTube tutorial on um on uh, suggestions for to adjust your settings. I mean, I watched a YouTube video and I just adjust my settings from there. But um, I don't really. I'm just here to explain how to make a uh VBA. Uh, video not some like uh, how to suggest this suggest that you know so now moving on to the editing now my screen is black because I quit it uh, I exit out Roblox now I put my display capture back on and uh, yeah so now you want to go to this tab called shotcut link is also in the description um, we want to do is just click download okay so now when you open it it should look like this Where's uh it says new project right as you can see recent recent projects I have this YouTube tutorial thing but like it messed up but yeah so what this thing uh mean is that it's basically um relating to your folders so your the video is gonna be in uh this folder called videos in my my files so the project name let's just name it YouTube uh tutorial tutorial hashtag no no just two all right now the folder is created what you want to do is press on open file right and you select a random um 
a random clip. Now, what you see right now is the uh, the display uh, screen where you basically see preview what your video is going to look like when it comes out. Um, so you drag this, right, and you put it onto the timeline. See this timeline? And you drag it here where the empty space is. And now it automatically creates a video, um, a video track for you. But if you want to add a music to your background, you could also uh, add a audio track. And now you have a video track and an audio track. And this white thing is where like your preview is like going. Like this is where your preview is, where you're looking at. So let's start from this. Uh, let's go from the start, right? Um see what what parts we don't want what you want to do when you first edit you want to like cut out the parts that you don't want and that's what i'm showing you right now um let's see see that was clean right so what you want to do is write when they serve or whatever you want so you want to go here you want to put where you want to uh separate uh, spot where you think the videos uh, the clip footage that you want you want to split it for, from the useless ones by doing that you have to put your wh white um, little line here right you uh, press s which splits uh, footages into like two separate ones so you want you want to decide what you want to keep and I want to keep this one uh, the short one right there on the right side and I want to remove the left one I right click, I simply right click on this and I press remove and now it's gone. Now I can move back to this. Boom. And then, and then just split and then remove this. Now, what if I want to make my, my, um, video look a bit more effects or like, make it look better. So what you want to do is go on fil filters, right? You press on video, you add, um, press on add, you go on videos. Um, let's see, let's make this glow, right? It automatically uh, glows for you like 50%. You decide how much you want to glow it. Uh, I'm going to just keep it to 50. So now you're, your video has the effect, right? And if you don't want the effect in certain parts, like before, uh, like when they receive, before they set, right? Let's say like right, like right here. You, you split it, right? You go over here, select this part, and you press minus. And now this part doesn't have it. See, now, like there. See, that that's... Okay, now, how do you, like, what if you want to slow down your thing? What do you do? You go to properties, right? This is speed. You just basically adjust your speed and your timeline will go, uh, it, your timeline will get bigger if you slow down. It will get smaller if you fasten it up. And um, that's really it. Um, to add audio, you literally just have to open file, right? You get, like, a free non-copyright music. Like, um, all right, like this one. Right, you drag this to your audio section and just stop right there, press on this, split it, remove this. See, you see that? Yeah, that's how you make a VBA video, guys. Stop asking. Yeah, this, this is what I do, okay? And uh, I'll be editing this video too. Uh, yeah, make sure to export, export this. Okay, export it so that it goes to your job and then it will complete. Yeah, see ya.